Hi guys, welcome back to this week's Bitcoin update. Vincent Liu here. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly Bitcoins update. And I'll post all the Bitcoins update for you guys so you guys can know what's happening in the market right now. So without further ado, let's get right into Bitcoin's weekly update. Right now, we can see that Bitcoin just have a pretty huge dump. So what happened in this dump and what caused it? Today, we're going to talk about it. First of all, we have to look into our Discord where I post daily market update and markets what's happening right now. So we can see, right, I have posted this reason over here. Okay, let me zoom it up. So why crypto is crashing, right, recently why crypto is crashing? As you guys can see, elections right now in the US, President Donald Trump's odds are decreasing, right? Trump's, Trump's are pro crypto, right? Kamala, you know, anti crypto. So, therefore, that's one. Number two, we got a recession fear. Because the unemployment rates have been going up, okay? Let's look at unemployment rates. So, this is the unemployment rate. As you guys can see, it's slowly climbing up. So, when I and unemployment rate goes even higher there where we have the recessions coming in. So therefore, we got to look into this and notice what's going to happen. So if, if you guys can see 2020 because of COVID, that's why the unemployment shoot out skyrocketed uh, right now because they, because it's all these factors, right? They bring out a lot of money, they cut rates, hence it causes inflations. And right now they increase a lot of rates. Right, the rates have been all time high right now, and they are maintaining it until September. Unemployment rate will still continue to go because because of interest rates. Right, interest rate is high, causes unemployment rate because the economy is very hard right now with high interest rates. And then we have the yen unwind, unwind. So the yen unwind, basically, yen causes the crash. Okay, yen causes the crash. If you go scroll down right here, into my Discord. I already said that yen here, right, causing a massive unwind of yen, carrying the trade position and distributed to a sharp decline in the US stock. Why, why is this happening? So basically, in short, yen, yen doesn't have any interest rate, right? In, in the past decades, yen doesn't have any interest rate, but suddenly, yen put a quarter of an interest rate, suddenly out of nowhere, all right? So with the rising of interest rate, people, all the traders, right, borrow yen because there's no interest rate and then go and invest, right? That's what they do, right? It's a pretty much very smart move. But suddenly with this interest rate hike, everybody start to sell the stock to send the yen back to Japan, all right? Send the yen back to Japan causes a lot of market down, right? Market crash, market down because everybody is busy selling stock, okay? Even Warren Buffett sell his stock. So basically, causes a very sharp down and therefore the price goes crashing down causing a lot of selling pressure at these days okay so as a traders we can take advantage of this sharp drop and get rich at you know buying at the bottom level so right now as you guys can see bitcoin price it drops until this 48 region right here right this 48 region right here right 48 59 region right here this is where the liquidity, right? The liquidity grabs right here. And then BlackRock, if you guys know about BlackRock ETF bots over here. So if you guys can see, okay, this is where the BlackRock entry at 48K, right? This manipulation area where it pumps the price so high up. So this is where you know smart money lies in way over here, okay? So right now, Bitcoin are hit at this level it actually closed the CME gap, right? If you do not know what CME gap, okay? If you guys go to the future price right here, the future CME futures, the gap's already been closed, right? Usually, right, high chance this gap will close because of the future doesn't operate at weekends. Therefore, there's always a gap, right? And they always say that gap will close, gap will close, and hence we see the gap close right now, okay? And then during the Japan yens, causes the market to crash as you can see because of the interest rate 
right? Market crash so high, so down low, right? The Nikkei, right? Nikkei is a Japan market. And right now, all the smart money bought the cheap level, right? That's what they do, right? They're all of the retail money selling cheap, right? Selling, selling, selling. And then the smart money lying wait in here and buy cheap. Everything goes back up. Right, that's that's pretty much they do, right? S and P five hundred is the same, you know. Everywhere is the same, okay. So obviously, there been a meeting, right? There been a meeting. Let's go and see. So, U S, right? This is the United States. They see, they're gonna print money to save the economy. Let's go and see. Right, they hold emergency meetings, right? So they have an emergency meeting, right? Because of market crash, because of recession, because of Japan, right? So the whole emergency meeting, you know, discussed to cut rates right now, could be, you know, because they need to take into effect, right? They need to take into effect this money controls the world, hence people's livelihood is in, in danger right now. So they're going to do something about it, okay? They're going to do something about it. So as you can see, right, the money supply, if the printer comes in, right, the printer comes in, the money supply will increase, hence, the dollar, right? The dollar devaluations will continue and Bitcoin, right? Let's hope Bitcoin will go up, okay? But right now we're gonna see more ranging happening over here because the market right now, there's been divided into two parts, right? One that's saying market's already bad and market's still gonna go boo, right? So there's two parts and two sides of people right now I can see in the social media where a lot of them claim Bitcoin gonna crash lower some claim this gonna be right a reversal uptrend as you can see if we go to compare to the COVID crash right compared to the COVID crash so as you guys can see during this time right March 20 right March 19 March 20 this is where the COVID crash and then we can see a rally goes up months later right a few months later the rally goes up and then it kicks off the actually parabolic bull trend, right? So the parabolic bull trend where it reaches all new all-time high and new all-time high and goes higher and higher. So basically, you guys can see, right? Will the history repeat itself, right? Will the history repeat itself? That's the opinion, right? Just an opinion. You guys have to do your own analysis, okay? Do your own analysis. As you can see, the, we call this event Black Swan event, right? It's unpredictable, right? All these events. So the black swan event of 2024, where the yen and win causes an interest rate hike, right? just a quarter of interest rate, everybody be panic selling and give back the yen to Japan. That's why we have the black swan event right now. And then the fear of recessions causing the market to down until this low. And then we had the black swan event of 2020, where the COVID, like the COVID causes right, the crash. And then every time the crash, it causes even more money, right? Even more money in the markets and the market will have to go somewhere, right? All this market, right? everybody is holding a lot of cash right now. So they reinvest when it's cheap and then they push the price up, right? This is just my opinion. So you kind of can do your own analysis and find out whether, right, which side you are on. So right now the market, right? The market has been saying, right now it's been a deadly cross, right? This is the deadly cross, the moving average cross, right? The, the the MA average cross, as you can see, right? MA cross causes the price, you know, to be in a bear market indicator. But, right, there have been the cases where it crossed, but it goes back up, right? We will never know, but we'll see how it, it occurs in the following few weeks, okay? Following few weeks, we'll see what Bitcoin's gonna happen, okay? And then let's go back to the Bitcoin cycle tracking. The Bitcoin cycle tracking right now, Bitcoin is on the path to you know the parabolic bull phase but because of the recent tough recent recession fear and then the market crash it gonna takes longer than that to go to the bull market right if you go to the parabolic bull phase right here so we're gonna wait longer so i predict next year we're gonna start but right now we have the we have to price in the recession fear all this thing and then bitcoin price right now high time frame is quite bearish right high time frame is quite bearish if you can see high time frame is quite bearish right it's making lower low and lower low and lower high and lower high 
So the weak, the stronger the trend, the higher the time frame, the stronger the trend. If you guys know about that, the lower the time frame, the weaker the signal. So the higher the time frame, the stronger the signal. As you guys can see, high time frame suggests Bitcoin's right now in a slightly you know bear market right now. We will not know what's gonna happen because of ETF coming in and BlackRock into the Bitcoin market. As you guys know, stock. Right, stock smart money have a lot of huge capital, right? They have huge capital. And then recently we have Russia. We have Russia legalized Bitcoin. Right? Russia legalized Bitcoin. So you can see more and more adoptions in the Bitcoin markets. And then we have Japan, right? Japan been taking up, you know, loan, right? And securing the a loan to invest in Bitcoin. So there are two sides of market right now. Smart money been trying to come into the cryptocurrency world and manipulate the market okay there's so much manipulation going on the price is going to be extremely extremely volatile okay so let's talk about what's going to happen so in my predictions and just my opinion here right i have no financial license advice license so do your own research and trades based on your on your own beliefs the bitcoin gonna range at this region right here and then due to you know the market recession fear having price in right there's so many things happening even the the iran war with israel so we, we're gonna see what's gonna happen and if the market gonna crash again right it's gonna be at this region you're gonna get go down okay and for me bitcoin's bull run is not gonna come anytime soon right it's gonna still got a long way to go until the q4 or next year so we're gonna see what's gonna happen so that's all for this week you know bitcoins updates and if you guys want to follow my discord to see all this news right where I, we post all this news you know how do we trade how do we use the MVRZ score it was a comparison that we can see the different view okay and all this news what's happening right the CME gap in been filled right and then the current market right now you know what's gonna happen printers coming in gonna print start printing the money soon right the US gonna start printing money soon decreasing the UX strength index, hence increasing Bitcoin price. Okay, and again, just some motivation, lower the time frame, the bigger the signal. And if you guys want to follow my Discord, follow my Instagram, and text me up so that you ask, tell me that you want to all right, join this Discord right now. This Discord right now is free with all the market updates at your fingertips. All right, that's it for this week's Bitcoin update. And I'll see you in the next week. Peace.